Hello, YouTubers. The new Time Travel Behind Me 88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. And tonight, we're looking at Doctor Who, the genesis of the dialects. Yes, this is a brilliant story. I really love it. This is a fantastic story. This DVD was requested by Andre Grendel. Andre Grendel, thank you for the request. Brilliant story, and Andre and my my friend Andre Grendel says the dialects the of Genesis of the dialects is the best story ever. This six part adventure was transmitted on March eighth through April twelfth, nineteen seventy five, and this only marks and this is the first appearances of the creator, the Davros. The plot begins: the Fourth Doctor is intercepted while traveling. From Earth to the Ark by the Time Lord. He is instructed by them to interfere the creation of Dot of the Dialect on a planet Skyro in order to invert a future time where Dialect would dominate the universe. The Doctor is given a time ring to use to return to his own time and the TARDIS when the tax is completed. The Doctor finds that he is already on Skyro and joins with companion Sarah J. Smith and Harry Sullivan. They find Scarrow is in a war-torn planet, a generational war of attraction between Thals and the Kendals, for the dominance of the planet has laid to waste to its surface and ecology. In the midst of poison gas attack by Thals, the Doctor and Harry are dragged inside a college dome while Sarah is left outside. Sarah eventually run into the Mutos, the exiled descenders of those mutated by the chemical weapons early in the world. Um, but they are captured by the Thals, who used for this danger tax um, manual loading radioactive components into the missile as they wish to launch a Kells dome. Sarah is tempted to lead an escape plan by climbing out of the rock slow, but the plan fails. Meanwhile, the Doctor and Harry brought to the Kali elite, General Ravon, the leader of Kali army, and the security commander, Nidel. The Doctor attempt to explain that they're aliens, but the Nidel refused to believe that the great scientist Daros has stated there is no life outside of Skyro. The doctor told him, you look more a type than that. Why you insulted Muto? Well, that wasn't nice. The doctor attempts to explain that they're aliens, but Nana refused to believe that the great scientists. The two have been. I, I said it already. <laughs> the two have their position, including the time range, stripped from them. And interrogated by another scientist, Ronson, who discovered they are truly aliens. At the moment, Davros enters the laboratory and demonstrates his new Mark III time traveling machine, which he later dubs as the Dialects. After Davros leaves, Ronson confines the doc in the doctor that he is, and the other scientists believe Davros' research has become immortal, evil. An analytic mutation to create the dialects and see their help in stopping the doctor promised to tell Clyde a leader about Davros and the dialect. If Robson helps to escape, the doctor meets Morgron and other colleague consuls that are agreed to halt Davros experiments, but this overheard by Nadar's spies. Davros respond by preparing 20 dialects under computer control and secretly meeting with their file leaders and giving to the chemical that will wreck in the Kelly's dome. Allow the rocket to penetrate, the doctor and Harry mount a rescue to attempt for Sarah at the Dial Dome. They free Sarah, but they escape. The doctor's capturers watch helplessly at the Dial's Launched the rocket and destroyed the college dome at the Clyde Clyde Bunker. That's how you pronounce it. Clyde. 
Davros declared the Khalid there, that's better. Race is dead. Giving birth to the dialects, he orders Ronson's death as a traitor and gave over the chemical secret and instructed the next scientist, Garmin, to remove the capacity of pity from the new dialect mutation, sending troops to the dialects to the Dial Dome to exterminate all of those inside. In the confusion, the doctor, Sarah, and Harry rejoin with their few thousands and muto survivors they, and make their way back to the Khalid bed. The doctor is struck that thousand mutos trying to destroy the bunker, which he and his companion return inside. They are captured by Davros, who become uh, unaware of, of doctor's knowledge of the dialect's future. The doctor is forced to describe how the dialects were defeated to prevent the execution of Sarah or Harry. Davros records the information in order to prevent future dialect defeat. The three are taken to the cell where they realize they must get the recording along with the time ring to prevent the disaster to future time. The Doctor, Sarah, and Harry are freed by another scientist and told that Davros appeared to have scum bed to the demand of Kali Council and will stop his research but wants to call a vote. While Davros pleads his case, the doctor recovers their position including the time ring on the vote. The remaining Khaled elite are spirit between Davros and the Garmin and fight breaks out between them with Davros using the dialect to kill those against them, and Doctor the Campaign used the opportunity to rig the explosion in Khaled mutation room, but the Doctor is unable to bring themselves to deteriorate to detonate it. Instead, they turn their attention to destroying the recording captured by Niter, who they forced to take to where the recording is stolen. After destroying, they learn that the thousand mutos have prepared to detonate to explode the seal. The Daleks inside the bunker and had little time to escape. The Doctor returned to destroy the Khaled Mutes. A Dalek eventually completes the circuit to destroy the room. The Doctor and Sarah and Harry escape just before the Dalek goes just before Dalek's explosive goes off. Meanwhile, the Daleks have killed everyone except Daryl and a in the Khaled bunker and started their production line against Davros, wishing Davros realized that his creation has an achieved sentence attempt to destroy the bunker, but he is shot by the dialects of, and apparently killed. The dialects announced they were a superior race and will di dominate the universe. The doctors, Sarah and Harry, say goodbye to the survivors, Dials and Muto. While the doctor did not stop the dialects, he does believe has hindered their development for some centuries and thus successful in his mission. The three use the timeline to return to their own future. Yep, this is a great story. And Tesla Coils, my also good friend, says the best strong performance story ever by Davros and I agree and I agree with Tesla Coils. This is a best six part adventure with Tom Baker. Anyway, let's take a look at the features. Uh here's the still pictures. On the commentary we have acted by Tom Baker, Elizabeth Sladen, and Peter Miles, director David Mahoney, Genesis of a Classic, the dialect tape, Blue Peter. CD-ROM, and continuity announcements, and so forth. Here's Dix 1 and Dix 2. This six-part adventure was re was rebroadcast on BBC One in 1990. Actually, on BBC One, that's right, I said it right. <laughs> This six-part adventure, Genesis of Dialects, was rebroadcast on BBC One in 1982 
as part of Doctor Who and the Monster. This story was edited into a three fifty minute episode. However, by the time producer John Nathan Turner is at the time, take out the beginning of the sh- the like a war game shooting with the mask on that that was cut in a nineteen eighty two broadcast. And was rebroadcast again on BBC Two in 1993 as part of Doctor Who Seven Doctor Who Adventures. And was surprisingly again on BBC Two in 1999 in Doctor Who Night. Well, that's it for review. And Andre Grendel, thank you for requesting this Doctor Who episode. The best Doctor Who story ever. And if you guys have a Doctor Who story you want me to request, post a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This is the new Time Travel Jaime 88 saying so long.